All right. We've put this off long enough. What's worse than making a video where you talk about Nick Fuentes? What's worse than a video where you talk about Lauren Chen? Well, in my estimation, probably a video where you're stuck talking about both. That's not my background. That's not my TV. That's my TV. There we go. I was not working. Buttons, man. How do they work? So here we have Lauren Chen, the bootlicker extraordinaire, who I'm going to poison the well on. I do not like. I do not like in any way, shape, or form. Let's see what happens when she stands literal Nazis. Hey, Lauren here. Let's talk about Nicolas Fuentes, the independent right-wing commentator who is once again trending after he announced that he had been put on a no-fly list. And strangely enough, this story actually starts off with news that the Florida State Senate recently approved a bill meant to fight against big tech censorship. So, wait, hold on, hold on. How are those two things even remotely related? Now, I know how she's going to try to string them together, but let's go ahead and talk about the fact that Nick Fuentes being taken off of places like YouTube and DLive and Twitch is not the same thing as being put on a no-fly list. The no-fly list thing is because he was at the Capitol. He was involved in the Capitol riot. It was on camera at the Capitol. Once that documentation came in, once that was able to be analyzed enough, of course he's going to be on a no-fly list now. Lauren, it's very simple. You storm a government building, we generally don't want you having free access flying around anywhere anymore. Maybe you should uh, be, be an advocate for personal responsibility. Look at Tulip in the eye. Thank you very much, Kanskin, for the follow. Uh, a topic that we are very familiar with in this sphere of the internet. Yeah, you've never actually been censored, Lauren. Shut the fuck up. Thank you very much for redeeming 100 bits. Chen needs to spend time buying things from DDLG Playground or Adam and Eve. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this as a good opportunity for a plug before she says whatever she wants to say. If you are watching right now, please consider going to ddlgplayground.com so that you can actually get items to which, if you don't like what I'm saying, you maybe could get something there to go fuck yourself with. Generally speaking, though, if you want to get something from there, I would highly advise you to get something that will make your experience in the bedroom a little more pleasurable with your partner or even yourself or if you want to dress up do whatever but when you do so please consider using coupon code cirrus because that coupon code will give you 10 percent off of whatever you do and i'll actually get a little bit of kickback from that as well since youtube doesn't pay the bills uh, practically ever very well so remember that's ddlgplayground.com use coupon code cirrus all right lauren continue continue as the Sun Sentinel reports, and I quote, in one of Governor Ron DeSantis's top priorities of the legislative session, by the way, just want to interject here, love DeSantis, he- Oh my fucking, of course you've got to stand DeSantis. Dude literally sent people to, to uh, what's it, Rebecca Jones, I want to say, to her house. Had her making, had her end up having to like freaking flee because they brought armed agents to her house when she was trying to point out that their local government was lying about COVID statistics so that they could open up earlier. Dude, Chen, can you please, 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 please stop standing assholes? He is an absolute animal. He He's like Trump, but without any of the baggage. I have very high... <laughs> oh god oh god i want to die i need to distract myself we need a distraction now sorry everybody pop Cirrus is here for a distraction because i just can't not after that not after hearing that he's like trump but without all the baggage dude you guys will do anything to suck that man's toes holy shit lauren Please, stop, please. 
high hopes for his political career. Anyway, the article says the Florida State Senate on Monday passed a measure to crack down on social media companies that remove users from their platforms. The Republican controlled Senate voted 22 to 17 along almost straight party lines to approve the proposal, which now will go to the House. DeSantis has made a priority of the issue after decisions by Twitter and Facebook to block former President Donald Trump from their platforms in January after Trump supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol. And yeah, that's not exactly a bad thing. Also, thank you, Shadow Uchicha or Uchia Never for following and me. Midnight Stardust for following both of you. Thank you. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. The bill in part would bar social media companies from removing political candidates from the company's platforms. Companies that violate the prohibition could face fines of one hundred thousand dollars a day for statewide candidates and ten thousand dollars a day for other candidates. The Man, isn't that wonderful? How Republicans are so for small government. <clears throat> they want small government. They want it so badly. They deep throat the idea of small government. They look at small government in the eye and they say, Daddy oh whoa, on my face now. And then they argue for government expansion into the private sector. Man. Now, granted, granted, divorced from the utter hypocrisy of it, I do think there is maybe a little bit of merit in reeling in larger tech companies as in an almost oligarchical sense they do gain a lot of power in our political sphere i get it i get it i really do get it but if you're gonna be the small government republican maybe you should actually you know do the small government thing isn't that yeah, weird how that always true. happens? Yeah. Thank you very much, Bagutech, for the follow. But isn't that weird how that almost always happens? They're for small government. And then, strangely, weirdly, they won the government regulating women's bodies. Strangely, awkwardly, they always want the government to be able to oppress other people. Small government, everybody! proposal also would require social media companies to publish standards about issues such as blocking users and apply the standards consistently. I am a huge supporter of this bill and frankly I think that Republicans on the federal level should be taking similar actions against big tech censorship. That's one of my biggest criticisms of the Trump administration, the fact that they had four years to tackle this problem and they didn't really do anything about it and I think that's partly because for the longest time all of these mainstream establishment conservatives didn't think that big tech censorship would actually affect them. Well guess what now it's 2021 and the former president himself is actually barred from all of the big tech platforms because he incited violence you dullard how is that hard to understand Pres ex-president donald jackass trump literally on his platform told people who were in the middle of a violent attack on the capitol in the middle of that, essentially told them all that they were very special and that they had every reason to be angry and feel the way they did as they were doing the things they were doing. And then made incredibly minimal efforts, basically the legal definition of minimal effort, so that you could be, you know, absolved at a court later to argue that, no, 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 you probably shouldn't be engaging in violence. Lauren, this wasn't that long ago. Did you forget? It's not, not only that, you can't even have his voice on Facebook. Pretty shocking how quickly they ramped up all of these efforts to suppress the political opposition. And for any libertarians or conservatives who are still not understanding the threat that big tech censorship poses, just keep in mind that almost every single industry has at least some sort of regulations meant to protect consumers and clients who frequent different industries. Why is big tech literally one of the only industries that is exempt so far? Wait, wait, wait. Lauren, do you not know what a terms of service is? Wait, hold on. Does this? Oh my, I, there's so many terrible words I want to say. So many awful words. God. My time in online gaming has has prepared me for this. And I can't say a single one of those things because none of them are adequate for this. So I will just say this. Lauren. 
when you go and and do anything with any of these social media companies, you sign a terms of service. Now, this terms of service is not just the agreement that you will abide by their rules. It also largely encompasses, in many cases, the things that the company can do Never. to protect you, the instances yeah. in which they will try to, the instances in which they will do so. There's areas where it's clearly mapped out the things they will do to protect the consumer. On Facebook, there, there are measures that you can take on Facebook that Facebook will take as a company to protect you from things like unwanted pornography, for example, or online harassment. Big tech is not the only center, is not the only sector that does not have these protections. It has them. Whether or not they are adequate protections is a different conversation altogether. Your conversation seems to largely be that they're non-existent here. Also, thank you very much, Clabluzio, uh, for the follow as well. Getting a lot of follows while streaming at 4.39 a.m. on twitch.com.net. Why the hell is everybody else up here? Why? Terrible decisions. All of you. I'm not in favor of nationalizing big tech or anything crazy like that, but I just I just think they shouldn't be able to do whatever they want with absolutely no consequences. This bill looks like a reasonable step in reigning in their power. And the way that this relates to Nick Fuentes and his alleged airline ban is he apparently was supposed to go to some press conference in Florida talking about this bill, which has obviously implications for him as he's been banned from so many platforms. He put out this tweet. He said, so I'm on my way to a press conference to discuss how I've been banned from nearly all social media and tech services. And then I find out that I can't even get there because I've been put on a no fly list. This is overt political prosecution. America is not a free country. Persecution, not prosecution. Prosecution happens after. <laughs> okay, so... Here's the thing about that tweet. First of all, it's absolutely hilarious because let's make one thing clear. Nick Fuentes is a Nazi and I'm not saying he's a Nazi hyperbolically. I mean, he's literally a Holocaust denying white supremacist nationalist. His beliefs are directly in line with those of fascism. Fascism as defined before any of you big brain dipshits in my comment section start going, Herder, the left, they always say fascism, but they never define it. Okay, how about I go ahead and define it for you? Palingenetic ultranationalism. Nick Fuentes is a palingenetic ultranationalist. 110%. He fits that definition of fascist very perfectly, very succinctly. This is an individual who I largely do not care what terrible things happen to him, including bans on the internet when it's based entirely on his irresponsible rhetoric and the things he has done. Why was he taken off of YouTube? Holocaust denial, inciting violence, marginalizing groups. Why was he taken off of DLive? All of the same shit. Why is he not able on, able to be on other uh, social media platforms? Because he doesn't shut up about loving being a goddamn boot-chugging Nazi. At what point do you have to stop cum-guzzling the goose step before we can go, oh yeah, no, maybe you should be let back into the fold? No, 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 no. It's perfectly fine that Nick Fuentes isn't on any of these platforms anymore. The platforms are better without him. So, there's my opinion on that. Now let's get to the actual topic at hand. Why is he on a no-fly list? Well, with no context, I would say that he's on a no-fly list because he was at the Capitol riots. Where people got put on no-fly lists as a result. As information came in and documentation came in. The fact that he's still on Twitter astounds me, but it's not like I would know if he's on Twitter because the dude blocked me. Because of course he did, the fucking coward. And before any of the Nick Fuentes fans come in here and start jerking off their, what are you debate Fuentes? Uh, one of the things that I will say is I try to responsibly platform people when I have the ability to. And Nick Fuentes is not an example of somebody who I could ever responsibly platform. 
Because again, he's a Nazi. And if you're a Groiper and you like this individual, I hate to tell you, but you're standing a Nazi. And I really hope you go back into a time machine Never. Somewhere Never. around the 1945 Never. area, you'll fit in. You'll fit in great. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Thank you very much for the follow cat girl Lily on my giant anti-Nazi rant in 2021, because apparently y'all fuckers still exist, and I don't get it. I don't understand it. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about all of this. But first, I want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor, Glow nope. with Lore. Nope. How about not? How about? Wait, hold on. Did you just say Glow with Lauren? New anti-aging serums. I'm going to say a huge thank you to our sponsor, Glow with Lauren. New but that says Young with Lauren. Maybe it's a product and not on the, not the website. Okay, I'm not. I don't care. I don't care, Lauren. I don't. I don't care. You. You just. I don't care about your sponsor. I've already plugged my sponsor. Please take my sponsor, cram it in your eye. Any airline. It's not something that individual airlines like Delta or American Airlines put forward. No, no. This is absolutely something that the federal government is involved in. And what the no-fly list has gotten a lot of criticism for is that you can be put onto it and barred from flying for your entire life for no real reason, or at least the agency that controls the list, which is part of the FBI, does not need to prove anything to a court or to anybody in order to restrict you from flying. In so here's the thing. Here's why they don't have to do that. Now, whether or not this is a good thing, that's a different conversation. On the other hand, I think in Nick Fuentes, it's a perfectly, per perfectly okay thing. He's literally just going to cry persecution complex no matter what you do to him. So why not go ahead and beat the baby with legislation and the book? But let's go ahead and talk about what the no-fly list is and why it matters. And why they don't have to prove something in court. Again, we're not talking about whether or not this is a good thing. The FBI, if they deem you to be a threat to public security in one way or another, they can put you on the no-fly list. Now, we don't have any way of proving somebody is a threat in a court of law. We don't punish people for being a threat. We punish people for doing things, crimes they have committed. We do not and cannot and should not punish people for their potentiality to engage in criminal activity. However, when it comes to the no-fly list, it is made specifically so that we can prevent acts of terrorism from happening, By uh, as an example. And to prevent acts of terrorism, you don't need to wait for the acts to happen so that you can then drag the person by the ears into the court of law. The no-fly list exists so that this person is not able, or at least is severely disrupted in trying to travel when engaged, so that they cannot engage in what we would consider to be terrorism. Like, say, the Capitol Riots, as an example. Maybe it's just me, but the idea that we have to wait, we always have to wait, before uh, until somebody does something before we engage in some measure to prevent it is ludicrous so again whether or not the amount of power the fbi has over the 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 no fly list thing whether or not it's a good thing conversation for another episode i'm just trying to explain how it operates the courts have nothing to do with it they don't have to have anything to do with it largely in this particular scenario Will he be taken off the no-fly list? I don't know. When is he not deemed a public national threat? In fact, even the ACLU, the left-wing ACLU, has criticized the no-fly list as being a violation of people's civil liberties. So when I hear- Okay, again, like I said, whether or not it's a good thing comes completely and totally as a separate conversation. I just want you to understand how the damn thing operates. Hear Nick Fuentes say that he's been put on the no-fly list, I have absolutely no problem believing it. And to be clear, I haven't seen any type of 
proof from the government that this is in fact true. I don't know if that is something that the government even does if they release statements on this type of thing, but the no fly list is something that has been criticized for a long time and in an era where heck even the president is banned from being on social media i have no trouble believing that someone with views that are considered as controversial as nick fuentes's could be put on the no fly list and the reason but why is he on the no fly list lauren why is he on the no fly list is it because of his views is it because of his views? Or is it because of things he's actually done? Never. So, in the eye. here's an interesting an interesting article to pull up. Also, thank you very much, I... Cock? Huh, nice cock. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. I don't want... I don't want to support your your thing. Okay, fine. Turn off ads for the site. Fed sees funds from white nationalist leader that may have been donated by mysterious now dead French donor. Okay. Nick Fuentes, the 22-year-old white nationalist leader, says the government seized a significant amount of money from him while complaining that he was placed on the no-fly list that prevented him from flying from Chicago to Florida to attend a press conference yesterday. Fuentes, who hosts the nightly America First show, is an avid supporter of Donald Trump, who attended the 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. Following the public backlash against the violence at that event, Fuentes gravitated towards the optics-conscious wing of the fractured alt-right coalition, assembling a following known as the Groypers that have now focused on radicalizing college Republicans to be white nationalists. Gee, I wonder why an individual like this might find himself on a no-fly list. Do you, Lauren? Do you want the world where Nick Fuentes has more power? Is that what you want? Are you fucking an idiot? Sorry, are you a fucking idiot? You're probably fucking an idiot, too. Both of those are probably true. I don't need Georgia power. Where did my... Why did it go? Where, where did it go? Oh, that's an advertisement. Why? I want to continue reading your article shitting on a Nazi. At least one prominent Graper is charged in the assault at the Capitol. Christian Secor, a former UCLA student and founder of America First Bruins, has been indicted for obstructing an official proceeding, assaulting, resisting, and impeding officers and civil disorder, among other charges. An affidavit submitted to, uh, by the FBI to support the charges against Secor include photos of him shaking hands with Fuentes, who was described in the document as the founder of the American First podcast and a public figure known for making racist statements and denying the Holocaust. Fuentes mentions the government seizure of his fungi on his American First show last night. I'm going to go ahead and give my, my Nick Fuentes voice. For all of you people who are coming in as gripers and fans of Fuentes, here's your opportunity to come. I don't like to brag or anything, but if you knew how much money they took, do you know how much money? I fucking hate the government because I woke up and one day, one of my checking accounts, one of my checking accounts, which has lots and lots and lots of money in it, had zero dollars. So when people accuse me of being a Fed, it's like you have no right. You have no idea what I've been put through. It's not clear exactly how much money was withdrawn from Fuentes' account, but he said it was in the six-figure range. Guys, can we just all celebrate? Can we take a moment of silence to celebrate the draining of Nick Fuentes' funds? Fuentes reportedly seemed received a $25,000 contribution from a mysterious French donor through Bitcoin in December. The donation was disclosed through an investigation by Chain Analysis, a group that tracks Bitcoin transfers. The investigation found that the donor, a French computer programmer, transferred a total of $522,000 to United States far-right Figures. The largest amount by far went to Fuentes. In a suicide note published as a blog post, the donor expresses support for far right views, including the false belief that George Floyd died of a drug overdose and the idea that COVID 19 is a hoax perpetuated by the world government as justification to restrict civil liberties. He says, That's why I decided to leave my modest wealth to certain causes and people. 
Megan Squire, a computer scientist who tracks white supremacist financial transactions for the Southern Poverty Law Center, told Raw Story that this is not the first time Fuentes has publicly disclosed that one of his bank accounts was seized by the government. And Fuentes publicly feuded with others in the white supremacist movement since January 6th about the likelihood that he's under investigation and whether he's putting his followers in legal jeopardy by continuing to hold live events. But Squire and Fuentes, uh, but Squire said Fuentes is becoming increasingly open about the FBI investigation. Last night was the first time he said FBI and six figures. Okay, we're getting specifics here. The FBI did not respond to a request about the story. Fuentes' comments about the government seizing his funds from one of his bank accounts were made in the context of his complaint that he had been prevented from flying. On, t on Tuesday morning, he posted a video on Twitter with a recording of a person who appears to be the Southwest Airlines agent telling him that they're not letting you fly. The Twitter post includes the text, video proof that I am on a no-fly list. Tucker Carlson, who has also reportedly promoted white supremacist positions on his Fox News show, appears to have taken up Fuentes' cause during his show on Tuesday evening, although he did not mention Fuentes by name. Oh dear God, I hope he does, because I want to see more Republicans outed as goddamn Nazis too. Just... It's more than just the no-fly list, Lauren. We have far much more to celebrate. If he's literally having his assets seized by the government right now, maybe there's a little more to it than just, they can do this for whatever reason. Maybe. Maybe. I don't trust big government. I don't. But when it comes to Nick Fuentes, I can understand why. I, I see the person he is, the things he does, the things he says, the boots he licks reason why this is really making a lot of news nowadays is that again the no fly list is not just some private company or private airline that is banning nick from flying this is part of the government because he's a national threat dipshit and Nick also put out a follow-up post to his initial one saying that since attending President Trump's rally on the ellipse on January 6th, I've been banned from Airbnb, Facebook, Instagram, DLive, and Coinbase, banned from every payment processor, had a bank account frozen, and now put on the no-fly list. And I haven't even done anything wrong. Really? Really? You think you haven't done anything wrong? You think there's nothing wrong with being a literal goddamn Nazi, convincing people that Jews are controlling the world and that they should largely be killed and that homosexuals should be killed. You've done nothing wrong when you've argued that it's okay to assault children merely because you don't know where the best place to divide the line on what a minority is. You don't think you've done anything wrong, Fuentes? Nothing at all? Really? 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 Nick, have you considered, potentially, a, an, an alternate reality, mind you, where instead of speaking the dumb things you do on the internet, you instead garble catboy dick? And in that reality, not mine, I'd rather, I'd rather not have that kind of unclean shit near me, uh, but you could pick whichever one you want. I hear you went on a fine date with one at some point. In that world, you speak less harmful things, and you get to have more enjoyment, I'm sure. Have you considered that world? Maybe consider gravitating towards that world. You know, where you, you say less, but you just do things that are more personally enjoyable. That way you can still lead a fulfilling life and be a happy person, but you can also get the fuck away from vulnerable people. Count frozen and now put on the no-fly list and i haven't even done anything wrong even if you don't like nick fuentes we all need to ask ourselves are we okay with living in a society that can essentially de-platform and de-person you for simply not liking your political opinions and he's not a de-person he can literally get in a fucking car and move still he's not been de-personed he can he can get in a car and move he can still talk on social media he can still do shit Keep in mind that Nick Fuentes has not been convicted of any crime. There there are murderers out there uh, who have gotten out of jail or had their sentences commuted, whatever, manslaughter, who are allowed to fly on airplanes. But for Because they are not considered national threats. Lauren, they, they are not largely considered national threats. That's, that's the difference. They're not considered national threats, Lauren. That, that is the difference.
That is the dividing line. Like, that's where it is. You, you can keep on going on and on and on about everything in regards to this being upset that it happened, but the dividing line between a murderer who has uh, served their sentence and Nick Fuentes is that the murderer who served their sentence, who is not on the no-fly list, is not considered a threat to national security. Nick Fuentes, for whatever reason, and probably good reasons, given it's Nick Fuentes, is considered a threat to national security. For some reason, this government agency has deemed Nick Fuentes, person who talks into a camera on the internet, as more dangerous. He's more than a person who talks into a camera. Also, Sung King, I understand that you've got two brain cells that are working incredibly hard to justify standing Nick Fuentes. I get it. They're doing their very best. But he does not have to commit a crime to be on a no-fly list. I went over this in the beginning. If you weren't here for the beginning, perfectly fine. I understand that. Let those two brain cells keep up as they're busy puncturing each other in the butts. ...and not trustworthy enough to fly on an airplane. If that doesn't scare you, it should, because this is just another step toward the social credit system. This is not a step towards the social credit system. The no-fly list has been a thing for literal decades. This is not another step towards anything. This this has been established as a thing that we've been able to do for ages. Literally nothing has changed, Lauren. This is not another step towards a social credit system. This is just... Your, I understand you want to have propaganda against China. I don't like the social credit system. I don't like China. Understand that 110%. I get it. I really honestly do. But the no-fly list is not that it may seem like it i'm sure but the social credit system is its own thing and it has its own way of operating and it's all so bad yes the no fly list thing again i don't know how many times i have to keep saying it it is a tool that we have in order to make sure that we have the ability to engage in national security you have a literal nazi who's receiving almost a million dollars in funding who is a national threat. This isn't hard to understand, Lauren, but it is hard when you are trying very, very hard to make life better for people who mean you harm. That we see existing already in places like China. And what's really irked me seeing all of this Nick Fuentes news unfold is that there are actually people out there who identify as conservatives or against cancel culture who are supporting his ban. I yes, because they probably want their nation to be safe. There are conservatives like Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh who hate Nick Fuentes and are perfectly okay with the things that are happening here because as much as those individuals are terrible, they might know a little bit more about how the government works either because they don't like him or because they think he actually deserves it. And let me say, if you are okay with cancel culture coming... The FBI, the FBI no-fly list is not cancel culture, Lauren. Jesus Christ. She, okay, nope. Nope. We got, we'll, we'll, we'll suffer through a little bit more, just a little bit more for people that you admit haven't technically done anything wrong but that you just don't like it's not about people just the fbi no fly list is not about people that the government doesn't like it's about people that are national security risks that's not just not liking we're gonna end on the freeze frame of you literally sucking nick's all of his nazi opinions right through the mouth. All of them are happening right now. Every single one of them. No, no, I can't anymore. I can't anymore with Lauren. I can't. I, I, I had to end it on the FBI watch list. The FBI no-fly list is cancel culture. Just no. Anyways, you guys give me your thoughts in the comment section below when this makes it to YouTube. Thank you all for watching. I am going to sleep. It is five in the morning. Holy crap. Thank you all for being here.
Insert end of video tagline here.